I think riding a motorcycle is inherently empowering. When you get on a bike and you're in the, on an open road, it feels amazing. One of my favorite things to do is just go with Ashmore, rip out to Borrego, get lunch or whatever. It's one of the best roads in California. Pull over at all the sites and, and enjoy ourselves. It's so fun. I was, I think, seven when I first got on a motorcycle, so I started on a little Z50. But I remember just loving the feeling of freedom and being able to like rip off without my parents and like have a great time. I had a vintage dirt bike and then I got my street bike and then I just kind of kept upgrading. It's been, you know, a huge part of my life ever since, essentially. <laughs> hello! What's a kid, hello? You've got to practice, you've got to make some mistakes, you've got to get out there and actually ride the bike. It's been so much fun. I think I've seen parts of the United States that I would never have known existed because of motorcycles. I've ridden train I never thought possible because of motorcycles, and I met some of my best friends because of motorcycles. I think it was like Born Free, was it 2013? It was 2013 that yeah, we started that talking. And we were like, let's go camping. Totally did not mean to start Babes Right Out <laughs> at all. Um, but random group of people that all just came together in the perfect storm of creating Babes Right Out. And it's been a wild ride ever since, like the wildest ride. We've learned so much about infrastructure of like a business and what you need to have an event, um, what it's like to work with, you know, incredible partners and, uh, and also just create this number one, this, this riding experience, like Babes Right Out and Babes in the Dirt is about riding motorcycles we do hear this a lot, whether it's through social media or in person at one of our events, some gal come up to us and say, hey, you're the one, you guys, babes, not us guys, but babes right out is what inspired me to get on a motorcycle. And it's like changed my life. Like never in a million years did I think that I would have any role in like having that kind of, you know, helping create something that had that kind of impact on someone else's life. No way. It's so, it's such a trip. We didn't know this was going to be a thing. We didn't know it was going to be a brand or a business or any of those things, but the energy behind those 50 women on that dry lake bed was That's all we needed. Insane. That's all like we their needed. enthusiasm and them saying this is so amazing, we want to do this again. We're like, "Okay, we'll figure it out." That's the type of people we are. So, here we are. Here we are. Almost a decade later. So when I go back to Borrego, I remind myself that the two women said yes to a freaking flyer that had no destination on it with a bunch of people they don't know and ripped down a dirt road with a sand pit and camped in the middle of nowhere. And it was an amazing experience. And so going back there, I mean, I just keep get reminded of that and it re-energizes me to want to like keep going. Knowing that we all were out there in this one place and time, this one moment, sharing that experience and the earth has forgotten about us. It's still there, it's still barren. You'll see generations come after us. I mean, it's magical to think about. We'll never have that same experience or that replica exactly of that, but we can celebrate it. Someday, hopefully soon, it'll be as commonplace to see a woman on a motorcycle as it is to see a man on a motorcycle. But like being a part of, you know, creating a, an environment and a, and a platform that invites women into that is really amazing and hearing how in some cases it really kind of changes their lives.